Feature guest Teresa Brewer got started singing at such a young age, she quit at a point some youngsters just get started. Twelve years old, I retired. I was performing uh, up until then, and uh, my mother decided, well, she should concentrate on school, and so I did that until I was about 15, 15 and a half, and then there was a, a show that uh, was done in New York called The Big Break, and uh, they sent talent scouts to all the cities, and uh, I was chosen from Toledo, and I appeared on the show in one so I was right back in the business again. And by 1956, she had this big hit, A Tear Fell. A fool am I, a fool am I in love. A tear fell when I saw you in the arms of someone new. A tear fell when you left me all alone and feeling blue A tear fell when you told me That your love was not for me I didn't miss the teardrops But I miss you constantly A fool am I A fool am I Teardrops that you stepped on as you danced across the floor were crushed like my poor heart was when you walked out of my door. A tear fell when you told me that the flame in your heart died. Darling, have I lost you? Like these teardrops from my eyes A fool am I A fool am I in love A tear fell when you told me That your love was not for me I didn't miss the teardrops But I miss you constantly A fool am I A fool am I Feature guest Teresa Brewer remembers that when she did a concert in Montreux, Switzerland, a language barrier made her nervous. It's kind of scary because uh, with uh, English-speaking people. But over there, I, I didn't know if they liked me or not. It, it took me like halfway through the concert to understand if they liked, liked me or if they didn't. And by that time, I was, you know, another wreck. But I did have uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, uh, guys working with me. The bands and uh, my the special guests that I mean that were there like um, uh, uh, Clark Terry of course. And here's how they teamed up on Duke Ellington's "It Don't Mean a Thing If It Ain't Got That Swing." Oh. 
Future guest Teresa Brewer remembers the days when a hit on one record label meant that artists on other labels had to rush to record that song. It was a lot of fun doing that. It sounds vicious, but it was a lot of fun doing that because uh, I think the main song that start, that really I'm connected with was Let Me Go Lover. Now, that was done on a TV show, and I think the show came on around 8 or 9 at night, and by... The time the show was over with, uh, Let Me Go Lover was the theme song throughout the show. And the song was sung, I think, by Joan Weber. So by the time the show was over with, the A&R man, the record company, was on the phone to me saying, we want to cover that record. Did you see the show? I said, yes, I saw the show. So they, I went in and did it that very night, in the middle of the night. Patty Page did it. But we all had, I sold over a million of it. I'm sure uh, Patty Page must have sold a million, and so, so did uh, Joan Weber. So we all covered the same song, and we did it within hours of each other. Everybody had that record out within the week. There were like three or four records out of that one particular song. And most songs of uh, in those days, you could hear a song and cover it. It didn't matter. And then it was the great fight of the record companies to get it played and get it on the charts before the other one. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Oh, let me go, let me go, let me go, lover. Let me be, set me free from your spell. You made me weep, cut me deep, I can't sleep, lover. I was cursed from the first day I fell. You don't want me, but you want me to go on. Let me go, lover, let me go, let me go, let me go. You, you made, made me weep, you cut me deep, I can't sleep, lover, I was cursed from the first day. There was a time in the record business when labels had their white artists try to overtake emerging hits of black artists, what was then known as a cover record. Feature guest Teresa Brewer tells us about that. In the late 50s and 60s, early 60s, that's when, uh, if I did get through uh, with a, a song, you know, uh, record-wise, was uh, covering rhythm and blues. I covered a lot of those. I mean, uh, I covered Ivory Joe Hunter and Sam Cooke. That's what the record companies were doing. They were taking their artists that they had under contract and covering a, a, a black artist that had a, a sort of a semi-hit and then would jump right on top of it, which was very unfair at the time. I didn't know how unfair it was until much later. But that's uh, what the idea of the record business was at that time. And here's how Teresa covered Sam Cooke's You Send Me. i 
Honest you do, honest you do, honest you do. Whoa, you thrill me. I know you, 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 you thrill me. Darling, you thrill me. Honest you do. At first I thought it was infatuation. But ooh, it's lasted so long And now I find myself wanting you To marry me and take me home Ooh, you, 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 you send me I know you send me Darling, you send me Honest you do you do at first I thought it was infatuation but ooh, it's lasted so long and now I find myself wanting you to marry me and take me home whoa you you do.